Today on Tonka Talks, we take a look at how the girls' swim team feels towards their conference meet. Take a look at the upcoming Chinese New Year. Right here, right, right now, now on Tonka, Tonka Talks. Talks. Good morning, girls. My name is Seth Ward. And I'm Lori Haley. Alright, so let's get some story ideas, guys. We're Hello Griffins, I'm Josie. And I'm Miranda. Today is Friday, February 2nd. In baseball news, the Kansas City Royals traded their designated hitter Brandon Moss and left-handed pitcher Ryan Butcher to the Oakland Athletics team Monday in exchange for right-handed pitcher Jesse Hahn and Heath Fillmeyer. Spring training starts for the Royals mon on Monday, February 14th. The girls' swim season is coming to a close, and their conference meet is coming up soon. To see how the girls are feeling about this important meet, we sent out Sydney to get more information. With swim season coming to an end, I talked to some of the swimmers about how they felt their season went. We all became a lot closer than we had since the beginning of the year because we all go through the same workouts. We all do. We all struggle together. So. It's actually really, really fun. I know a lot of people who do it, they say that it's a lot of work, it's kind of boring, like we don't really do anything. And But we actually work out a lot. Like we use every single muscle of our body. You get really, really good like definition in your muscles. You make really, really close friend groups. And it's actually just a really, really fun way to spend your winter. Let's be sure to wish our swimmers luck today and tomorrow at conference. Make sure you come out and support the girls' swim team tonight and tomorrow for their conference meets. The U.S. Marshal's Office has caught the escapee in the Kansas City area. Authorities say L Lawrence Garth escaped the Truman Medical Center on January 30th. In national news, Donald Savastino won a million dollars on the New York Lottery's Merry Millionaire ticket. He was planning on going on vacation and buying a new truck with his winning money, but just 23 days later, Donald passed away with brain and lung cancer. So we send our condolences to the Savastino family. The Chinese New Year is February 16th, so we sent out Luke and Isaac to gather more information of this event. The Chinese New Year, also known as the Spring Festival or the Lunar New Year, is a Chinese festival celebrated at the turn of the lunisolar Chinese calendar. This festival celebrates the beginning of the Chinese New Year and contains many festivities, including the Lantern Festival, where families walk the streets with those familiar red paper lanterns. True or false, one-fourth of the world's population celebrates Chinese New Year's. True. The Chinese New Year is celebrated all across the world, including in countries from both Asia and North America. On the eve of the Chinese New Year, the biggest event is the annual reunion dinner. This dinner is not unlike our Thanksgiving dinners or Christmas dinners. After dinner, some families will go to local temples shortly before the New Year begins to pray for a prosperous year. At midnight when the New Year begins, it is traditional to light fireworks and burn bamboo sticks and firecrackers. But most importantly, the first day of the Chinese New Year is a time to honor one's elders and families. What is this year's Chinese New Year's animal? A dog. There are 12 zodiac animals on the Luni Solar Chinese calendar, including the rat, the ox, the tiger, the rabbit, the dragon, the snake, the horse, the goat, the monkey, the rooster, the dog, and the pig. And the upcoming Chinese New Year's zodiac animal for 2018 will be the dog. 2017 zodiac animal was the rooster, and 2019 zodiac animal will be the pig. The fun part about the zodiac animals is finding which one yours is. For example, if you were born in 2018 on the lunisolar calendar, your zodiac animal would be the dog. Come February 16th, you could try and participate in some of the festivities. It's certain to be a lot of fun, and I know I'll be hanging up a lantern or two. If you're curious about more information or how to get involved in the Chinese New Year festivities, check out the Nelson Atkins Museum for more. That's all for this week. Don't forget to follow us on social media. I'm Josie. And I'm Miranda. Thanks for watching. Check, 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 check